think it's a good way to think about zero knowledge from the point of view of the implementers in the room or the people or the non cryptographers. Uh, uh, so, so, so zero knowledge, we should think of it, or a good way to think of it when you're trying to write uh, uh, whatever, some software uh, piece that uses zero knowledge. Uh, think of zero knowledge as this, this magic uh, uh, cloud that actually can, you can have the interface to it with two different parties. Uh, but actually, somehow they talk to each other in the other style. So, so there's this one party, uh, uh, which is going to be the prover, that has an, an interface to some subroutine that it calls. And in the subroutine, and I'm talking here, next slide, we're going to talk about how to verify what's going on. So it's talk about the interface to verify it, but it's something easier to think about first. Uh, so, uh, so I'm the prover, and I, I want to, uh, uh, to prove something. So I'm going to put, uh, this is the guy in the part of two, that's the identity of the guy, this is the verifier, and this is the relation, remember this uh, zero knowledge relation with the X and W, and this is the X and this is the W. And right, and this is the input of the relation, and the, uh, and, and the uh, convention that this is the public part, and this is the secret part. That's it, that's my guy. And very to the sub and I forget about it. Uh, as far as the improver is concerned, as far as the verifier is concerned, uh, something comes up, pops up from somewhere uh, with an answer, and uh, this is the prover, and this is the relation, and this is the public part of the input, and this is the one that answers. Right? And that's it. And, 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 uh, and, and I go on from here. In terms of uh, API for, for applications. And um, so we'll talk, uh, um, let's talk in a second. You're shaking your hand. It's a security definition, not an API. An application needs to send a string that is given by this abstraction. No, but, uh, uh, no, I'm talking about not about the protocol, the zero knowledge protocol, I'm talking about the application that uses the zero knowledge protocol. Right? So there is, you run the data, you write the code, the crypto code that sends the string, the proof that sends it, talking about one level above. The, the application that calls is your knowledge, and you know, so now I'm not having any original knowledge for it's just like having this here. Right? Yeah. But why do you specify B? So because it doesn't need to verify it. Okay. And uh, so to the answer to this question, so we don't need to specify B. So we, that's, a, well, this, it's two different, uh, I didn't say yet about the security implications, but I wanted to say that on this slide, but so, so hey, bear with me for a second. Uh, uh, but uh, in this case, there is a specific V in mind that I want to prove to. Uh, uh, right? You think about anonymous credentials, and I want to prove to a specific gateway and nobody else. And it should be non-transferable, etc. <coughs> okay? Uh, uh, but here, uh, uh, this is, sorry, this is, uh, I want to prove to the world. Right? So, so now there is no verifier. But, this is suggested, we can, you know, play with it, right? But just, just to give an idea, and it's not, you know, doesn't need to be exactly like that. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, we play with it. Okay, so, so I'm the prover, and again, my, my API is uh, just some identity, some identity, some handle uh, uh, for this particular proof. And then again, the relation and the secret and the public, so the public and the secret uh, uh, input. And then this just goes into the cloud, and then the API of, of uh, the recipient is anybody can go uh, uh, and put in input an ID and get back the answer, uh, which is uh, the relation and the public uh, part of the input and the one bit uh, answer. Right? And, uh, and everybody can do it. That's kind of part of the, that's part of the verifiability part. Okay, so this is kind of like uh, 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 the basic general API of, of, of zero knowledge. And, and the point is what is guaranteed. So first it, uh, it, uh, uh, it guarantees soundness. Right? In this API, uh, you always get the right answer. And more than soundness, you, you have this, this proof of knowledge guarantee. That uh, not only am I guaranteed that there exists a W such that the R stuff holds, but also somebody put it in. Right? And, uh, and if the identity of the, of the prover is part of this idea, then I also know who. Right? Uh, uh, so, that's, uh, so that's one thing. Um, and, uh, and, and another thing is, is, is the secrecy, or zero knowledge, if you want to call it, is that the prover is guaranteed that nobody is going to ever learn anything about W. Right? This W sits inside this cloud and nobody ever sees anything other than that. 
In particular, the other thing that you can guarantee is kind of what we call about normal ability. Nobody can actually, uh, 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 in this ideal world, can take this W and, and this X and maybe try to prove something with a related W with a related relation, uh, 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 something that I didn't explicitly prove. Yeah, uh, a lot of the new systems are used in practice say, and uh, Nokia or Goth, uh, don't satisfy this because they don't have any better. They do not have no um, yeah. Right. So so right. So 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 okay. So but, but so, we so, also so. use those proof systems so that we will need a weaker security property to describe them. Okay. So so good. So okay. So so that's uh, so that's a that's a good point. But uh, I would say uh, we will need some guarantees, some of the ability guarantees to make this meaningful. So I guess the, the reason that people use Pinocchio while this is... So first, saying Pinocchio is malleable, uh, uh, you're talking about uh, uh, um, some specific you know, association of Pinocchio is malleable. It's not that the whole generic, uh, I would assume. Uh, um, also, I, I'm going to excuse you my ignorance. <coughs> So, sorry? You can reinvent the mass of yes. the group. Yes. Yeah, just yeah. generic group operations. Okay. Uh, is there a way to, well, th that's a question whether you want it, whether it's a, whether it's a security flaw or not, when you don't care that somebody can run the mass of group or not. I mean, uh, okay, but, but that's a good point. One should, okay, go, this is kind of maybe a high bar, and then we can actually maybe try to, to, to lower the, the bar and try to make it more, uh, 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 um, you know, a week here, get the week the relaxing guarantees while still providing some, 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 uh, uh, you know, okay. some other security. Yeah. So this problem that, that the proof system is using a malleable comes up in Zapling, and we have to jump through a lot of hoops to, to deal with it. So okay. it, it is desirable to have an um, easy to job uh, to some type right. of it's, so, it's just not what people are actually using at the moment. So, 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 so that's it. So, so you, you, so you can do that, right? So, have a pair of people with merit more than what we did exactly that. But the, the question is, like, we're going to pay the efficiency cost for what is the efficiency cost? So, uh, I don't remember. I think it's double the cost. Like we we had another still, three group elements, which still very succinct, but more expensive. So we had another uh, paper that was based on Ground Sixteen, which didn't didn't cost more. To Construct proofs, but was uh, simulation extractable signature at all. So we didn't, and so that's an option if you don't want to pay the extra grouping cost. But the proof becomes larger because you have to add another group element. Oh yeah, and the you uh, need another, I mean uh, another pairing. So. so 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 that's okay. So that's actually I think it's a great discussion because that's, that tells you you know what are the put one against the other, security against efficiency, and then you want us to make a decision. You know, what what thing do you have to go in the application in order to uh, deal with the lower security and is it worth it or not, etc. So that would be actually it's a great outcome of all one, of one question I have is do we do we modify our interface to adapt to more schemes or do we say those schemes are old and broken in certain ways? Maybe we should just focus on this ideal interface and then leave these uh, I don't know. That's, so that's, that's, that's a great question. Right? Well, I know. I, I don't really see a good reason to use uh, PTHR anymore, to be honest. I would just use uh, either Yen's new scheme or, or our scheme, depending on whatever is more efficient. No, but in general, you talk about that, but you, this document is supposed to hold also, yeah, you know, for true. things that will happen in the tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And some of them are going to be very uh, efficient true. and valuable, and now it's a matter of... Uh, no, but it, it would be good to have like a benchmark or I don't know, uh, some notion of security. Say this level of security uh, uh, can give you this. This, you know, I have an application protocol that assumes this from the uh, from from the NIST, from the start. And, uh, and 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 maybe we can actually try to sit, just like sit together and think about how to uh, uh, succinctly and cleanly express uh, those weaker properties. Randomizability or, or maybe other types of modality. Yeah. Can I ask you about proofs of knowledge? Because this is kind of extractability thing. Yeah, yeah. Really it's, it's, oh, coming yeah. it's coming up. It's coming up. 
Well, and maybe you have some examples of that, but I'd love to see an example of what it looks like when you try to weaken it. So what I found is when you try to then make a weaker functionality, you end up having a messy or cluttered functionality, and at some point it's just a way to look at them and what you started with. But maybe that's something that can be improved on. I, I, I agree. And well, but it's not, I don't have right now a problem I have how to do <coughs> to express the reversibility, uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, in fact, I don't think that does this be uh, randomizability? Is it the problem here? I'm not sure. That uh, if somebody can uh, randomize, I don't okay. know if this actually still can be they still satisfied. Well, the, 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 there is a problem because um, you can sit around in the middle between uh, the prover and verifier. Um, and when you're essentially uh, proving the man in the middle and the, the original prover together know the witness. Okay. Which is not enough to be so, okay. okay, so that's actually goes, I think, to be the like, Let's get there. Okay, so that's how we talk for that in a second. But in general, yes, one would, it would be great to, to try to find succinct ways to, to, to represent the problems. Yeah. Uh, we just want to think about it. Okay. Um, so, as I said, the malleability, um, at least uh, this strong notion. Um, Okay, so, so, and again, I say how to implement that in the way to implement that's kind of the answer to my people around, to, to, to saying that uh, the implementation is actually the, where the proof is, you know, so the inside and the thing that's the prover protocol, and the future is the proof, and then the verifier protocol, and then the CRS, and there's the proof sending, and etc. that's inside, inside the scope. Uh, yeah. That's so, the is. So, so here, okay. So, so now there are issues that uh, uh, we need to discuss. I mean, here it's not it's kind of like quite on the copy, but CRS is CRS uh, kind of inside here. I wrote it inside this thing, which kind of signifies that it, it's a kind of programmable CRS or something that's uh, that. We can also be each other in CRS outside. There's a different security uh, issue and the uh, guarantee. It's harder to, to realize. Uh, um, but we can, you know, for now I think everybody will be happy with the CRS here, uh, which means that programmable CRS, and, uh, um, and also we can have random oracles. And, uh, you know, if you want to do Fiat Shamir, if you want to use a random oracle, we can actually add this to the model. It become a more idealized model, but easier to, to prove things. Up. So you can have this uh, random oracle also here. Uh, to add. And you can have maybe like, a generic group model, because in order if you want to prove things in a generic group, you can have a generic group work of you. So again, that was a full structure. Uh, that's part of, would be part of the implementation. Uh, okay, so, so you can also think about uh, uh, doing the same thing with multiple proofs, right? Uh, was one of the things actually that came up of the discussion yesterday in the applications uh, 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 part and then uh, talk about maybe a little bit later. So, so, so in the many cases we actually want to do proofs, of course, over proofs, over proofs, and we verify the state, and and and, uh, uh, and we want to uh, to be able to uh, uh, to prove together things about multiple statements. So you can also be, uh, capture that against again ideally. There's this one cloud now that only doesn't talk only about a single proof, but now there are many proofs coming in. And this I, I, I stick stuck with this part of the verifiability part. Uh, this proof proposition maybe is more natural there, but well, this is not how it works. But, uh, uh, so you can uh, talk about different people, uh, different provers proving things to the cloud, to this uh, new uh, uh, cloud, uh, uh, for different statements, different relations different identities, and then uh, 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 people can actually come and, 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 and figure out proofs on the verifying side for different identities, right? In particular, here, this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, um, this relation, R2, may, uh, uh, well, actually, okay, I changed the spell in the middle of that. So, 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 having a relation that uh, talks about two different inputs, this R2 different inputs, only makes sense if there's two provers are the same guy. And what? Yeah, the two provers are? The, the same guy. guy. But actually, the proof, this second proof actually also relates to previous proof. But don't you need the witness also there again for extraction, like uh, in the second one? And the Where? One. Here? No, in the prover side. P2. No, you, you need W1 in P2. Uh, uh, ID1. Right. The, well, the, uh, uh, 
Okay, so there are two different things going on. It, it, it can actually do either one, right? So, so, so these two proofs can be two independent proofs, two independent provers that don't even know each of each other, right? Uh, uh, and then, uh, uh, but then, but then you will not be able to do this uh, relations or between proofs, right? If you want to do this uh, uh, in, in, in this way, then yes, then, then you would actually need here. That's actually a good question. Where you need here W1 together with W2 here. Um, so, so you need ID1. Yeah. 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 So here you will need that. You definitely need ID1. Okay. So, so you know what? So, so let me uh, go back to yes, the, go to the next slide, and then I think things will be clearer because the next slide is actually talking about ideas inside relations and uh, uh, and so it is a more general case. Because you want to talk about multi-proof, uh, uh, also the you know, recursive proof composition. When, when, the, when, when in the proof, the relation of the proof, you also prove that you verify uh, uh, another proof that happened before, uh, and how would you express that? So, so here is a way to express that. So here in, in the P2, uh, the, you actually uh, enrich the language of relations to allow for a kind of like verification gates. So, so one of the operations you can do in, 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 the, relation, in, 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 the, in the relation, I verify uh, a previous proof uh, that in this sending this previous proof is just identified and identified, which is this uh, previous identifier, right? And, uh, uh, and, and, and this is what you will get on the other side. Right? So what's yeah. ID1? What is ID1? So ID1 is the identity of proof number one. Right, so so I, I, I prove something with uh, with, uh, with some identity, and uh, uh, and that identity uh, you know uh, binds the, the relation and the, with the public uh, input and the witness. That's the identity. Okay, and here when I when the relation here said the, 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 the meaning here is that you know uh, I go to the cloud that uh, x you know r of x2, r2 of x2 and w2 holds, and, and part of r2 is uh, uh, verifying uh, the proof with a d1, that means in this particular instance that would be with relation r1 and, 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 and x1 and w1. Right, so in the edit cloud, I just refer to it as the PBI uh, 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 handle, and of course the way to, to, to look at it, to think about it in the implementation, is that uh, uh, you know in the implementation what you do is the natural thing you just uh, part of the of the of the relation here that you do is actually put in the you know, notification under that particular instance. So actually I think you need X1 as well because you want that second proof to be the dependent on the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah. And unless the uh, the thing you need to show the system X1, right? So so. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not sure uh, if I understood your slide correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, one setting is where you have multiple provers and they produce one proof for the verifier. And it's not composed in separate parts and you combine them by simply looking at them separately. It's really it's one proof. <coughs> so so they, they don't, nobody holds their share. So an obvious example is verified decryption. So, so, so you're talking about the case where there, are, you know, so some protocol between several provers happening happens so that uh, some proof is generated. Yeah, they have yeah. shares of the witness say. Okay. So they hand in shares of the witness to the cloud, and from the cloud comes out a single proof, mm -hmm. uh, as as if it, as if it was only one prover. Say. Right. So this doesn't capture that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, this this way does capture that, unless you can actually. Well, I don't know, and unless uh, they come one after the other, and each one, you know, the, uh, the relation of this guy relates to the previous ones, and then you can maybe combine this one. But, but neither did the non-easy non side of definitions capture that, unless you invent the Yeah, yeah. So you can add the two, or you can try to express it this way. Yeah. There is this act of the temporal issue that came up yesterday. Mm -hmm. That uh, the, the first relationship, I mean, the, the composing. There is an order of things happening. Not, yeah, no, the, when, when you prove the, the second one, maybe the first relation doesn't hold anymore. 
there is a proof that uh, there was a value in some uh, data structure, mm -hmm. and at the time of the second uh, proof, that doesn't hold anymore. But Wait. the second one still can uh, prove that it verified. But the time that the second one verified was still true, but it's not true anymore. So, we, so, so I don't think the, the functionality would care about it. I don't think, in terms of you know, the functionality, and uh, just cares about what was proven at the time of proof. Things that happen no, 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 exactly at the time of proof. But there is yeah. element that yeah. is not obvious. Uh, yeah. For, for so that's know. always the case. So in some sense, uh, that's it happens outside this. So I mean, the model, is, the model doesn't guarantee freshness of the statement. I mean, that means people need to think about it, but the model itself doesn't need right, to right, right. consider that. So I guess the, 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 the interesting part is that this happens with a governing, with something that's secret as a proof, that uh, really the, uh, the proof actually introduced this W, later and later on this W have something happened to it. But still, it's, it's there. Which, you know, well that's something that relates to something else that we discussed yesterday in the application part, which is not here. Uh, but that's something that we may want to, to think about in introducing at <coughs> any time, you know, either real time, you know, ball clock time, or some other notion of time, a passage of time, heights of block, or something into those, into the world. But, um, uh, I think the point is okay that the semantic thing that uh, at least I learned it yesterday is that I always thought about composition as a performance, thing, you know, aggregation of, of proofs into a shorter proof. But actually there is more than that, because it's telling you something that you cannot verify now, that's in the past. I think in the blockchain setting that if you could always have a hash mm -hmm. as an associated data. So but what you proved about was for that blockchain ending with that hash, and now when you're verifying which the hash is different, then obviously there is uh, I mean, because the blockchain is state, right? It's immutable, but yeah. you can have proofs uh, that's true, but that's so I think what you are saying is that there is also this, first of all the, the instance x is on both sides. So now if you are not using the same instance and there is some other associated data, right? so what the way to do that would be to also supply a label. Okay? Like normally you do this thing with labels, alright? So the label has to be the same. If the label has changed then everything is, is uh, all bets are off. Okay, so let me continue. I think we have lots, you know, of the. Uh, so, so okay, so, so so far this was kind of like uh, uh, how to think about it from the point of view of uh, of the you know, implemented, you know, without thinking about how this is realized. In this, like a suggested API for people to use it uh, or, or basis uh, with the implied security and uh, uh, implications. Uh, but now, if you if you think about uh, going deeper into the picture world and how to prove those things, uh, so the, so so the implied uh, uh, security guarantee is uh, uh, what we want. Uh, you know, we want to show that uh, no external adversary uh, for the envir environment can tell whether it's interacting uh, uh, with the actual protocol or with this ideal uh, 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 cloud and and the, and the simulator address. So the, the, the point is to come up with the simulator. Uh, as as Shafi was talking about earlier, uh, uh, so this is what we want to do, and and, and the, uh, without many uh, you know no local drawings, which I think have time to draw, but, uh, uh, but the point is there are two cases here. One is that uh, this environment control improvement, and that's uh, uh, and, and that's the soundness part, right? Those, or the proof of knowledge part, uh, and the other case where the environment controls the verifier, and that's the soundness part, right? So that's the two cases I'm thinking about. Talk about adapting environments, you know, but uh, I don't mind that. Uh, so, uh, so this, uh, so, so, but the, regardless again, the security guarantees that, that this way of thinking about it here uh, is that again, for the for the, the, the for the users, the interacting with the protocol has the same effect as interacting with this DLC K cloud, and this is preserved under composition with other stuff. I mean. Any environment, any other protocols running out there, any number of uh, other uh, uh, clouds that you, you, you have. So there is this issue of, uh, of the CRS, but they all use the same CRS or not, but uh, uh, we can 
discuss it, it's actually there are, there are, there are interesting issues there and important issues, but it's not difficult enough. Definitely when we talk about public reliability, transferable, and they don't care about truth, truth transferring, it's not so much of an issue. Um, okay, so, uh, so what are the challenges for the simulator? We need to come up with the simulator. So, uh, so uh, uh, again, the environment should not be able to tell one or the other. Uh, so, and, and what, what comes to the help of the simulator here is the fact that you can program the CRS, so we know, and you can uh, program additional abstract structures, run the world, which are a group, etc. That's something that uh, will be very essential for us. And the main challenges uh, are, are first to create a proof without knowing the witness, that's the knowledge part, and the extracting visions. Uh, that's the uh, uh, that's the extractability part, and uh, um, so it turns out that, that actually the zero knowledge part is easy. Usually, but not easy, but it's easier, uh, and it's not so much issue there. So when you do fiat shamir, then you can use the random oracle and it's done ways to do uh, simulation and proof. When you do snarks, uh, usually uh, 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 the zero knowledge is very easy statistically, but uh, already uh, the, the uh, in, in there, so there's again not, not much issue. The issue is extraction. And this extraction has to do with vulnerability, but this, is, this extractability, kind of this online extractability, is what uh, gives you non vulnerability. Right? So, so, uh, uh, so here the, there's the simulator who gets interacts with the environment and gets a proof from the environment uh, and, and, and the next, and, uh, and now it needs to kind of like uh, 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 figure out the limits. So, so uh, again, if the, if the uh, if there is no succinctness, then we have uh, no techniques to do that. Uh, for instance, uh, one simple, simple technique is to include in the CRS the public key of the CCA secure encryption scheme and uh, make part they make the prover as part of the proof to just encrypt the print the witness and then prove things about the uh, about the about how to prove that the encrypted things correctly uh, and, and and this works. Uh, uh, there are other ways to do it, but this, this works. Uh, so the, the challenge is extracting the witness from succinct proofs, right? And, uh, uh, and in particular, how to do this in this black box way. So the, the simulator has to do it for any environment without knowing the code of the environment, and also has to do it in online way. You not just rewind the environment and try to run it many times. Uh, uh, but it does have, in its, in, to, to its help, the fact that there is a, a, there's a random oracle, and uh, there is a genetic group, so you can actually extract things from there. So, so this is something that, uh, uh, that's a challenge. I think, you know, the last, uh, you know, few hours and from last night, I was thinking about it, and, and to my, I have to be honest, I didn't think about it uh, too, uh, you know, before. And, uh, and, you know, what if people here in the room say something here who would know about it, I think I was to do it, but uh, it's something to, uh, to, to well, I cannot claim that I'm not doing it right now. Uh, uh, but that's something that I think it's a good challenge to do. I think, I think it can be done. To, uh, to, to design a proof in such a way so that actually you can front in an online way, from the, the way the environment with adversary interacts with the, uh, with, uh, with the, you know, the world, which group, to actually extract the witness. Uh, even when the witness is longer than the group. 